tomorrow, the project manager for the Lothard Women's Oral Archive. I'm Ernest Dankuma, a documentary photographer and a member of the team here at the Library of Africa and the African Diaspora. The Lothard Women's Oral Archive is a digital storehouse for African women's stories. It is made up of two main projects, the Lothard Women's Reading Women and the Lothard Women's Speaking Women. The Lothar Women Reading Women project involves the collection of African women stories written by African women and involved a call out to African women on the continent to submit five minute audio recordings of themselves reading their favorite African women writer from their country. My most recent project with Lothar is the Women Speaking Women project which involved collecting stories of women living along the four coastal regions of Ghana. It was really important for me to photograph these women in all dignity. So I made photos of them during our conversations and I made portraits also after those conversations. Being on the African continent, it is only necessary that we come to terms with the fact that orality is as much important and an essential part of African history. And so for this project, we deem it necessary to create the connection between what is written and what is spoken. It was really fulfilling to see the joy on the faces of these women after I showed them their photos. If I have to postulate a future idea about this project, it would be that so many people on the African continent and even beyond in the diaspora would have knowledge of African oral stories and women's stories in particular. So in the next five years, so to speak, I would want to see that more women are empowered or are pushed to understand the value of their voices and to want their voices heard. Hi, I'm Kai Kersten and I'm the project manager for African Futurism at the Library of Africa and the African Diaspora. African Futurism is a term that was invented by the Nigerian writer Nnedi Okorafor and it should describe African science fiction that comes from the African continent especially. Um, it's science fiction that is influenced by African beliefs, traditions, mythologies, cosmologies, uh, spiritualities and imagines a future with Africans, especially in contrast to white dominated futuristic imaginations that were in science fiction before. Um, so there are white dominated future imaginations in science fiction and male dominated future imaginations and African futurism brings in a perspective um, from the African continent. So African futurism is much inspired by the present time struggle of Africans in their context in the political context, the environmental context, societal context. Um, I've been working on generally about African futurism on the whole continent, but specifically about the Ghanaian um, form of Afri African futurism. So I've been working on music, um, music literature, visual arts, etc. in Ghana that are Af that is futuristic. I would say because of this absent scene, I think you, there's a lot of um, opportunities maybe also here at the Library of Africa and the African Diaspora to build a platform for African futurism to come together to have these discussions and interactions and maybe in form of panel discussions or of an African futurist festival to not only educate the public about what's going on in this genre but to actually bring these people together and open spaces for collaborations. I'm Eleonora Edu and I'm the project manager for the Children's Project of Library of Africa in the African Diaspora. I'm working on the kids' curriculum, which is a collection of lessons about books in general. So, for example, the anatomy of a book, which is basically what makes a book a book. Um, the elements of storytelling, such as the plot, the theme, the setting, and um, the fact that a story has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and even the African literature heritage. In the continent. With regards to African literature, there is a gap in learning materials that help children to be able to write stories of, of their own and um, learn about how books are made in general. So we are trying to fill this gap by providing this resource so that children will be able to take the initiative of writing their own stories, um, reading more books and also um, encouraging other children to be able to take part in such activities. Hi. My name is Elizabeth Johnson and I'm the producer of Woman Fest by the Library of Africa and the African Diaspora. 
Women Fest is a festival that is dedicated to challenging the narratives of Ghanaian and African women through culturally relevant film screenings, discussions, panels, workshops, and various activities that highlight women. Women Fest is important because it offers a platform for different women from all walks of society, whether your educational background, economic background, to come together and project their stories to challenge the perceptions that exist within different classes and groups of women and also to highlight the things that have been happening to us in society. So I don't think it's far-fetched to say that women play a very important role in society. However, things that affect us are not taken as serious and so the idea of Women First is to highlight our experiences both contemporary and from the past and see how we can come together to you know, project ourselves and change things that need to be changed. For men, I think it's important that at least for the first time they are doing the listening and so they, without also being judged, they will be listening to women's points of views and hearing the true stories and no emotions attached. I think it's important that men take a step back to realize the things that they are shrugging off because of the privileges that they enjoy in society. And so Women First would op um, offer the opportunity for them to learn to be better men in society, be it leaders, be it fathers, brothers, guardians, or friends, or romantic lovers, whatever position that you play in any woman's life. Um, I think that the festival would change your perspectives and the way you, you target and, and communicate with women.